What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another Wilson Garage video. Uh, we're back here on part three of the Turbo Civic budget build. Um, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do today. Uh, just um, probably small stuff. Keep uh, just plugging away. Um, still waiting on some parts. So yeah. I'm going to try not to bore you guys with some of the uh, tedious stuff, so I will show you what I'm doing, and then I'll show you when I'm done. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is i got to trim up this bumper to make the intercooler fit. And it definitely hits on those, that, that pipe and that pipe. And with this being a 99, they have these indentions here to act like a fog light, or maybe there was a fog light that was supposed to go in there on some models. Don't know. All I know is it hits. So um, we're definitely gonna have to cut it out, and then have to do some kind of fog light to delete so it covers up the pipe. But we'll figure it out. Okay, first cut. Uh, pretty much just took all that stuff out. Cleaned it up. Uh, well, I need to clean it up. But I was use, I'm was i using a body saw. And you can use a cutoff wheel or whatever. It all does the same thing. The bumper, pretty much all cut up and done. Um, smoothed out the edges as best as possible. It's kind of hard to see from this angle. Um, and this is all just Sharpie. I was trying to make a line of what I wanted to follow, but ended up not going that far with it. And it actually fits pretty good. Here's the back side of it. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty well, pretty good. Um, this bumper's cracked in multiple spots, so uh, I'm not 100% worried about if it's perfect. And again, like everybody, or like a lot of us out there, this is a budget build, so so I did center the intercooler up uh, with the bumper, um, just for my own sake, and doesn't drive me nuts. We put the wastegate on. So that's good to go. Just need to run a vacuum line from here to the bottom one, or the top one, it being upside down. Uh, we got the exhaust five bolt flange on with a V clamp, or I'm sorry, with a V band. Um, I bought this from Amazon, link in the description. Actually, there'll be a whole bunch of stuff in the link in, in the description. Why don't you guys go check it out. Other than that, uh, it's kind of what we've done. Uh, like I said, I'm losing light pretty quickly. And uh, only really a thing left to do is to start modifying stuff. Uh, Okay, it's like day number four, I think, three, four, something like that. Like we said, we only have uh, like an hour whenever we get home to work on this thing, and it's been really nice the last couple days. And you can actually see, it's in the setting, but we're going to try and get the oil pan off so then we can uh, put our bung on for the AN fitting. Um, tomorrow when we get our welder. So 
I'm not gonna film a lot of it because I'm gonna be up underneath the car, but I'll show you when I get it out. Just enough time to shut it down. So we got the oil pan off. And we have our placement of our oil filter. Ooh. Yep, it will have to go over. Yeah. So, might have to go over because this piece is in there. A little bit. I was trying to avoid going underneath one of the bolts. That's where I really wanted it, but... Maybe we can go in the middle? I don't know. We'll figure it out. This thing is dirty. Wish I had a parts cleaner. Okay, so day five, maybe? I don't know. Uh, lots of days of working on the Civic in this video. So, uh, wanted to go over a few things. We are going to be doing some welding. Finally got our uh, welder in. I'll show you that. HP Alpha Tig 201XD. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of these guys at all. I just watched a bunch of other YouTube channels that are specific to welding, and I or they all seem to really like this machine and saying it's all a good starter machine. Now, I, I am not, by any means, a good welder. Uh, just simple DIY stuff. Um, so we're gonna try and do the cold side piping and some of the exhaust. And yeah, so um, let's get to it. I did this off camera just to kind of get a feel for the machine but that is our dash 10 a and fitting for the drain on the turbo apparently this is the only way to tighten up the exhaust housing to the manifold fun
Oops. Forgot to put that on. But at least there's oil going through it. <laughs> we'll tighten that up and start it back up again. will be our up pipe for the exhaust so well, if it goes turbo over here straight on up
can't get any better than that. Alright everybody, well, she ran, she starts, it's awesome, uh, now we gotta do all the fuel and uh, ECU to get this thing where it can actually run. Um, we also need to finish up the cold side piping to finish uh, modifying it, but that's gonna be it for this video, so don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see this thing doing some rips down the highway. See y'all next time.